Hello all, GC13 here. I hope you guys have been enjoying the new Prison Architect Alpha because that means it's time for a brand new Prison Architect tutorial. Um, what I've done here is I've started up a medium sized map, as you can see it's fairly large, and gone ahead and drawn the, the, the prison I, I want to be building because I actually can take a, a lot of time to hem and haw uh, about my construction so I wanted to spare you all seeing that. Uh, let me give you guys a brief tour. These will be my first two workshops and I have the ability to expand over here. This will be a kitchen. I, I kept it nice and large so I have the capability to run fridges down the sides and still have double cookers in the middle. Um, what I'm going to start out with is just fridges on the side and cookers on the side and that should give me capacity for about 96 or 100 prisoners but before I have to think about running cookers down the middle so the kitchen's probably not going to need to get any bigger. I have a few squares I can move up here in case of an emergency but you're not going to want to build along here that's that's a bad idea. The canteen is likewise it has room for about 72 prisoners before I have to expand it this way and I have ample room for that. I've drawn in our first two cell blocks. They are going to be 16 prisoners each with showers here and common rooms here that I had to put in to stop the prisoners from pathing into the bottom shower for some reason. They, they all like this one better. Only a few people would use this one in my initial design. We're going to have a great big yard here with walls on the side. This is our administrative complex, and this is going to be visitation, and cleaning cupboard, laundry, and holding cell, infirmary. And once we add this, this will be a giant security area where we have our closed circuit television monitors, and this will be where we keep our morgue. In Alpha 13, solitary is much more important, and you'll see that once I get the policy report. That'll be one of the one of the first things I unlock. And so we're, we're going to prioritize building some solitary cells a bit earlier. So, um, and before I say anything else, the fog of war is still bugged when you create a new prison in Alpha 13. It doesn't matter if you have it selected or not. Fog, war, fog of War is going to be enabled. I'm going to put up an annotation so you can edit your save file with any text editor and have Fog of War disabled, but I'm going to go ahead and play with it on. Now, the f oh, and you'll also notice that I moved deliveries and garbage up. You are able to do that as long as they are still bordering these tiles here and as long as deliveries is still north of garbage. If you put garbage north of deliveries, the prisoners will stack the garbage in this area, put it onto a truck, and then that truck will then take it down to deliveries, and the prisoners will unload it and move it to garbage, and you do not want that. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is hire two more workmen, no more, no less, and then I'm going to go into my grants. We have, this is your source of initial money for starting your prison up, and it's entirely reasonable to take all four grants at once. I only do the ones that I'm about to work on, so that means I'm going to take my basic detention center grant and my administration center grant, and I will work on them, and I will get to the others once that's done. Um, you'll notice that the, this tooltip was added here in the hotfix. Anyway, let's get our first first building in. This is going to be storage up here, in case you were wondering. And we will we'll just let our workers speed up and get to that. You don't want to put in too much work for them to do at once, because the deliveries area will get full, and they won't be able... they'll all want to unload this truck before they get to doing anything, but they won't have anywhere to unload the truck into. So, let's go ahead and give them some doors doors, not rooms. And now we're going to go into the rooms, and I like to I like to designate my storage area good and early so that the worker workmen know where they need to take anything that I dismantle. There there's no point in really dumping anything unless it's a tree that's in the up uh, like see these trees are going to make it hard for the 
if I have to call in any emergency vehicles or a hearse has to come to take somebody out of the morgue, this tree is going to block them. So I'm going to have to make a mental note to remove this tree, otherwise my emergency vehicles will never be able to leave. You'll see the supply trucks don't care, they just drive right through it, but emergency vehicles will be stopped by that tree there. So you're going to want to make good and sure that you have that taken care of. Anyway, now I just want to get my entire office complex dealt with right away. So we're going to put in all five of our desks, all five of our filing cabinets, and all five of our chairs. And this will allow us to just realize that we need a we need an office, so we're going to zone one. Anyway, let's lay down a power station. We'll put it up. Actually, we'll put it. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll put it up here, and we'll just have to move it if the if we expand our to another workshop, and that'll be no problem. It's not a difficulty to move. Well, it, it's kind of a pain, but it's it's not a big problem. Anyway, all of our offices are ready. Let's give our warden one. Let's get a warden. Oh, no. I gave him the one office where I managed to not put a chair in. So, as you can see, I can go to bureaucracy. He started researching finance, and I unpause it. But finance is not ticking down. Why is that? Well, we go to his office. It doesn't have a chair. Still not counting down. Now, as soon as he installs that chair, our warden has an office, and finance is ticking down just like we want it to be. And the reason I go for finance over anything else is because the you are unable to hire you have a you have a cash flow you can't see it because we don't have an accountant right now but you have a daily cash flow and until you have an accountant you are not allowed to go into negative daily cash flow she will allow you to hire more workers and guards and cooks and other staff members than your daily cash flow will allow you to support and when you don't have any prisoners giving you a daily cash flow all you have is the 1500 federal grant coming in so you're going to want to be able to get a mostly full staff. We may not have a psychologist before the prisoners get here. This prison actually has a lot of buildings, so we may or may not have prisoners on our first go-around. So we're going to go ahead and go up here to the prisoners report, and we're going to click on this green box that says open. See how it says closed? And your prison is closed to new inmates. So we're, we're going we're gonna to hold off on having any any prisoners for now. Um, we'll see where we are, because there's going to be a lot of plumbing I need to put in to, to get this place ready. And, frankly, that can be quite daunting, actually. Anyway, we'll, let, we'll let them finish this up, but then we're going to get right on to... Actually, let, let's get our let's get our basics ready. What else are we missing? This is going to be our yard, so we're going to put in a wall here because this isn't this isn't actually going to be a building for a long time. I'm going to go ahead and build the building here soon enough, but uh, let's go ahead and get that wall in too. And we will secure this one with the jail door, which will eventually bar progress into the into the workshop. So we're just going to lock that shut so nobody can use it. And while we're thinking about walls, let's go ahead and wall off the kitchen from the canteen and get it some of the objects it needs. It will be needing a sink. We're going to put it right there. And we will give them their first cooker and fridge. And you saw me rotate the cooker three times. That's because the cooks will use this side. You can barely see the handles. If I had only rotated it once, they would be standing in the wall while they cooked. And you may want that. More power to you. I'm gonna lock you shut. 
you'll see you'll see all the doors that you don't manually lock shut in building mode are, are going to stay open. Once you get prisoners, they will go into their normal state. And let's give them a staff door and give them a serving table right here, and we'll even give them one regular table. Okay, good. You have to make sure you get the bench right on the table, otherwise the prisoners won't be able to sit down and eat. Mark you as canteen. Mark you as kitchen. And let's get, let's keep building, shall we? I'm going to lay down new foundation right here. And you'll, you'll see up here I started from below the existing brick wall. That means it will keep the wall that's right there. If I had instead clicked and clicked here, dragged over here, and dragged down, they would have knocked down this wall. But I do not want them to do that. And let's unpause and give them this building right here too. So we can have this area. And again, we're going to put a jail door here, jail door here and jail door here. But these are all going to be locked open. Um, as long as the jail door is there, the prisoners will regard the area as secure, even if it's locked open. That will probably end up changing, but for now, go ahead and abuse it. So you don't, you don't have to have guards wasting their time playing doorman. And let's get some doors. This is my visitation. This is going to be cleaning cupboard, I guess. One or the other. Oh, and you know what? I want this to be inside, so we're going to go ahead and add here. Yeah, you can add on to foundations that are already in progress just by selecting the area, and as long as, it, as, long as it's adjacent, it'll, it'll work. So, eh, let's go ahead and say, yeah, I want all of this, all of this to be interior. And for them to get there, I'm going to have to put it in normal mode. And again, it opens since it's in normal mode. I'm going to want this jail door to stay open. So I'm going to do that so I don't forget. Also, I'm going to want them to be able to have this large jail door into the kitchen. Or into the canteen. And while I am thinking about it, let's get some cable run. But first off, I'm going to do a little bit more planning. I'm going to plan for tables all on the sides, but there are my machines. And I'm going to plan so that I can run this entire workshop with just a single, a, a single row of cable going down... Well, let's see, I can save money if I do it this way. Uh, how to do this, how to do this. Eh, we won't worry too much about the money on this part. We'll just get stuff running to the kitchen right now. Oh, what I should have done is waited for this to finish and then gone ahead and told it, because now I'm not going to get a free wall here. Losing money. And walls are pretty expensive, actually. That mistake's gonna run me for 1300 bucks. Oh well. Money only... M money is only tight in the very beginning. Money is... only a concern relatively early. We're gonna head and go ahead and get all this done. All of that. But we're only going to worry about these eight cells here. We're not going to waste our money on the other eight just yet. We'll have enough money to, to take care of the whole grant. But in, in practice, it's best to only worry about what you need immediately. Speaking of what I need immediately, I'm going to need a jail door here so it recognizes the shower as a separate zone. I like to have guards patrolling the showers in the morning. That makes them less likely to start fights. And while I'm very well aware that I could simply give them individual showers, it just doesn't seem fitting to the spirit of the game. And we're going to go ahead and stock their common area with a 
couple TVs here, and we'll give them give them some phone booths too. You you want to make sure you have TVs and phone booths for your prisoners before they before they get to your prison. Um, otherwise, they'll not be able to get the oh, bureaucracy. Otherwise, they'll not be able to get their needs met. And once their when their needs don't go met, they get very unruly very quickly. And see what I mean about the daily cash flow? Hiring just two workers, I would I only have 100 cash flow left, which means I probably could have gotten away with only having the with having one more one more workman, but. I find that 10 is plenty early on. I mean, obviously it's never enough right at the very beginning, but this initial rush of construction will end. And I'm gonna run some large pipes. You have to be careful with your pipes, actually, because they are... They are how your prisoners like to escape. They like to, um, because it's quicker for them to tunnel along a pipe than it is for them to tunnel through concrete or dirt. And it's even quicker on a large pipe than it is on a small pipe. However, I'm not too worried about these prisoners here. Th this block right here that I'm working on is basically going to end up being the maximum security block. I'm only going to take maximum security prisoners, but this is going to be w the one that's hardest for them to tunnel out of. I mean, you'll see you see how far they would have to go once this workshop was in. And as a rule of thumb, you're probably going to assume that if they're tunneling along small pipes, your prisoners can make about three squares of concrete during a night. So that'll be one night, one, two, three. So I have about I have two nights to catch a tunneler out of these before he's going to escape on me. So I'll probably have a workshop up before he's able to get out of here. We'll see. We'll we'll just have to be very careful with our prisoners on the first couple nights because they they do they are like gophers anyway let's go ahead and mark these as cells because of the new enclosed requirement they're not going to be viewed as proper cells just yet but we'll be able to fix that once those get in all I have left are the jail doors Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna knock that wall out. I'm just gonna put this in quickly. However, I will go ahead and mark it as a common room. Common rooms are one of the few rooms that don't actually have to be a proper zone to don't have to be a proper zone in order to be used. Your your laundry, your workshop. They all have to be zones with four, four walls and a door. But you don't have to worry too much about your common rooms. Yeah, yeah, you can just make them in some cozy little nook. That's the bureaucracy bell, so we're going to start researching maintenance now. Mark another office. Oh, where do we want the chief? We want the chief here. That's a good spot for a chief. And we want to get our chief wor straight to work on researching... We'll do prison policy. Another high priority for us... Oh, you see we're down into negative daily cash flow already. That's that's why you want to have... If, if not the first, then you definitely want your accountant to be one of your early st first two staff members then. And we're gonna... yeah, we've already marked out this foundation, they'll get to that. And then we can finally finish enclosing the yard. We'll put in another wall, because we won't, we won't need this building for a while. Just manually put the wall in. Well, let's go ahead and mark it as yard. Why, why don't we do that? 
and in our prison, the yard's only going to be for the prisoner's exercise needs. See right now, the yard doesn't count because it's not secure behind a door. That'll change once we have this building finished and a wall up here. Let's go ahead and mark the wall out. You see I have my, my poor office people wandering around in the dark. They don't they don't need lights to do their jobs well. We'll we'll, we'll light them up eventually, but like I said, this is this is more important. We only have five hours and f ten minutes now before the prisoners get here. I'm I think we'll be able to take them in. Let's go ahead and think about what we want our regime to look like. Um, ordinarily, I would want them eating earlier in the morning. So we would put an eat time at 7 after I wake them up with a shower. If, if you just put a free time... You, you want them to shower in the morning because they get they, their hygiene need builds up very quickly overnight. And so you want them to take a shower, but if you just put free time here, the, most of them will stay in their cell and sleep. So you wake them up with a shower, then this would be an eat time. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to leave this midday eat time in here, actually, because the prisoners s come in with needs now, and they get very cranky if you don't feed them. Uh, we'll actually move the late night eat down a bit. And we'll cut the meal variety down to low. And that's what our prison regime is going to look like until we get the until we have work for them to do in the workshops. And then it'll be eight to ten hour work days. I like to break that up in the middle with a two hour free time period so that so that they are able to you know use the toilet and so that they don't build up very high recreation or family needs. You know, this way they'll have plenty of time to come hit their common rooms, use the phone booths, use the televisions, and generally not make trouble. Uh, we're going to have another staff member coming in soon. Let's make sure he has an office ready. Hmm... We may or may not be secure by eight. We'll just have to we'll just have to wing it. Ah, there goes bureaucracy. Maintenance. We want him on prison labor as soon as we buy him. And then we only have one staff member left. Uh, you have the lawyer here, but he doesn't do anything. I, I don't think they know what he's going to do in their recent Ask Me Anything on Reddit. The uh, and let's have him working on contraband next, because we're going to run some searches, and I want to be able to show you guys where all this, all the wonderful stuff that your prisoners can sneak into your prison. Yeah, you, you want you want to search them pretty pretty early. And let's finish off these cells. Oops. <sighs> See, it all depends. How quickly are they able to finish up? This is going to determine whether or not I can give them showers. Or, not showers, take them in this day. They won't have showers for a little while, so it's probably better that I leave it off. But I can handle it. It's it's just going to make for a tense early couple days if I bring the prisoners in now. But you'll see I've done all this with only the first two grants, so I have quite a bit of money that I can get from this cell block A, 20,000 advance, which is... I actually already have enough to complete it, so it's basically $30,000 I have sitting on the table. And this health and well-being grant down here, we're going to put an infirmary in right here. And it's going to take us about seventy-five hundred or seven seven thousand, yeah, seventy-five hundred dollars to complete that grant. So we're going to need ten thousand of that advance to complete it. But then that other ten thousand is going straight into this workshop right here, because the the way the money is balanced in Prison Architect right now, it you you really do need to 
Let's go ahead and accept these prisoners. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run high risk prisoners so I, I can show you what it looks like when you're... I, I think the prisoners are actually a bit more unruly than they used to be. Um, they give you more trouble now than they used to in Alpha 12, which is odd because I looked at the boiling points, the that would be the at what danger level your prison has to be before a prisoner starts to make trouble and they don't appear to be all that different than what they used to be in Alpha 12 I mean maybe uh, as far as I can tell the only difference would be that the only difference would be that the they have higher highs and lower lows so their unruly ones are far more unruly and the tolerable ones are far more tolerable and I want them to be able to get to the canteen. So we're going to go ahead and open that. Well, right now I can't tell them not to go through the kitchen, so I don't have to worry about that. And I would like them to finish up putting these doors in. And right now they're, in, oh, they're installing the pipes. Good. You see how it says that the job was blocked? That might be because I legitimately had it blocked with the door being closed shut at one point. However, that also can come up in this alpha where it thinks you have a stockpile of material, usually electrical cable, that you do not actually have. And so they try to get the material, but they can't because there is none. And so it'll say the job block, and all you'll have to do is put down enough electrical cable jobs equal to the stockpile that it thinks you have, but you don't really, and then put down the job you actually want to get done, and then they'll take care of it. Let's give these guys some shower heads. Um, I, I don't want them to be upset because they are filthy, and as soon as mental health gets done, I'm going to bring in a psychologist so I can look at exactly why my prisoners want to riot. So, let, let, let's look at what we have here. Needs, they have to use the toilet. Yep, I want to get those showers in very quickly. Whoa, what did I just do? What did... I hired a second psychologist. Wonderful. I didn't. don't even know why it'll let me do that. So see, I'm playing with a handicap, showing you guys how awesome I am. You don't have an office, you're fired. Okay, I still have a full staff, good. So again, the, the money is important now, it won't be. It will not be in the future. Let's mark this as a shower. As soon as those go in, I want them using them. Oops. Um, bureaucracy, contraband. Now I do deployment. And he's got prison labor taken care of, which means I want that. And now it's time for me to worry about the piping. Let's get that taken care of. The prisoners will actually go ahead and use these, even if they don't have water, and you'll see they get cleaned off by doing it. Um, abuse that bug while you can, because that is not going to be in for long, I hope. And let's get this power cabling run. And let's remove that. I don't know if there was actually planning there or not, but... Yard is secure, so I can open up, I can give them a large jail door, so they can go in. And danger level is low, but it is increasing. Let's look at that needs report again. Yeah. Hygiene needs, hopefully taking care of that will fix the problem. A lot of them want to eat, that's why I had that early eat in there. Uh, eventually, once you have a more stable prison population, you can make do with only having two eating periods, one in the morning and one in the night. However, when you're, getting, when you, when you're a small prison, you really want to feed your prisoners after they arrive, because they, they're hungry and they're upset. I mean, it, it, they act like they just got sent to prison or something. It's, it's so pathetic. Hmm. Let, let, let's worry about our utilities. Let's 
get some more cabling run. And we don't have don't have the ability to deploy a guard to the canteen, but we can tell oh, one's already. The guards will go go wherever they think makes sense for them to be. So often you'll find guards idling in the canteen. They'll idle at deliveries, I guess, so that they can let visitors in. They like to idle in the yard. Uh, once I put in a holding cell, they'll they'll go ahead and idle there. I don't normally like to use holding cells. But in this prison, I will, because just to have overflow. You'll see, I didn't actually need the the holding cell to have the capacity right now. But I think they can be handy. Let's make sure these guys are gonna have water. They will not. And you'll see how long this small pipe is going. You can get about 40 meters out of small pipe. So you don't have to worry too much. You don't have to get your large pipes too close to the. You don't have to get your large pipes too close to the cells. Oh, let's see. And I have no money to research patrols yet. That's okay. I'm not going to research patrols just yet. I don't need it. What I do need is the money for finishing off this cell block. So I'm going to accept that grant. And we are going to get straight to work on that. I thought I would have the money to do it without the grant, but I didn't. That's okay, 20,000, easy. And we'll put in the beds while we wait for them to put the walls in. because we have eight more prisoners arriving tomorrow, and it's important for our early cash flow to be able to accept them. And we'll put in some toilets. And let's get these toilets equipped with some gopher aids or pipes if you prefer. It's like I said, it's these three up here I have to be watch out for. I'm going to order my guards to search the toilets um, after a couple hours at night because the toilet is where they're going to start. However, since I still don't have solitary, it's important for me to go up to policy and I'm just going to change everything that would have a solitary sentence into just a lockdown. I will probably, I'll tamper with those later, but just right now I don't want to be forced into making the solitary section too early. The There is a big pitfall if um, if you make these punishments really long it'll suppress the prisoner making them you know less likely to want to make trouble however they'll also sit there in that in their cell or in the solitary cell building up their needs so and they're they were probably already trying to make trouble because they had high needs so you have to be very careful making that to, actually I'm gonna manually search you, you and your cell I'm just gonna search the you can search entire cells or I could even search this whole block just from clicking on one object, and I just want to make sure you don't have something like a spoon or a hacksaw that you're going to use to bust out of here. Nope, he's clean. Let's make sure he hasn't stashed anything. Because. Okay, there comes the guy. Okay, he's good. And let's just get these walls in, and we'll finish off this grant. By putting in doors. But all in all, everything's running very smoothly. Um, danger level's increasing again. Uh, that's because they're tired. Um... Let's see, how hungry are they? 
How much food do we already have? That's already in, that's enough food for all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tamper with the regime. We're going to send them to eat early, and then send them to bed early. And I don't want them. There we go. That that's that's enough food because I have the meal set to medium quantity, which means each prisoner will want two. They'll take two there. And so I see eight and nine. That's that's enough. I just want them to eat and then go to bed. And I got my ten thousand dollars from completing that grant. I'm gonna we're gonna start a bit of construction, but I want to end the video before the prisoners go to bed because if you if you load while the prisoners are asleep, they will wake right up, and they don't like to go back to sleep right away, especially if I were to load at, say, 4 in the morning. So if I were to do that, I would have to very quickly... I would have to very quickly, you know, change my regime to let them out of their cells, otherwise they would get very upset with me for keeping them locked in their cell with nothing to do. But anyway, I think that's it for this tutorial video. In the next video, which I, I should be putting up probably early next week, I, I want to go for a Monday release, we will take in our next eight maximum security prisoners, and we'll definitely be starting in on this workshop because I have... Well, I, I actually, I'm going to start on this. You need enough people to support the workshop before you... And now it's time for sleep. But... You need enough people to support the workshop and still be working in your cleaning cupboard and laundry, which are actually going to be higher priorities in the workshop right now, because I, I have plenty of money. Um, one thing I will do, though, I'll research health so it'll be ready when I want it. But until then, um, yeah, we'll see you next time. We're definitely going to hire a janitor and get the prisoners working to clean this filth up. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing y'all guys. Y'all here again for another tutorial. It's been, I've been GC13. Y'all have happy building.